Well, I finally did it. I finally got out the tutorial video for my M4 A3 uh, Sherman design in Lego, which is this guy right here. I just got the newest um, uh, tutorial of it uh, all uploaded to YouTube. And now uh, this guy right here, this exact model, except for I did change the tracks, but it's the same the same build here uh, is logged on YouTube. So if anyone's curious about being able to build this exact tank from my instructions, I have the full tutorial. Um, on my channel. Feel free to watch it and uh, build it and share it. Tell me about it. I'd love to hear uh, if people built this and if they enjoyed it. So as that being said, I've got this uh, build cataloged on my YouTube channel now, uh, mostly for myself, but I do now have variants that I like to work on, as I've mentioned lots of times before. Um, so I was considering starting kind of like a little series of working on the different variations of um, the Sherman that I've designed because this is an A3. Technically it could be an A2 as well because the only designation change as far as I could tell was the engine. Um, so um, I didn't actually build an engine in this one so this one could be an A2 or an A3. I've built it to be an A3 model because I have a lot of army figures. Um, but yeah I'd like to do a series now where I'm building little uh, modifications and changes to the Sherman and I want to show different components and how you can swap them out to make different Sherman models. So with that being said, today I'm talking uh, engine decks because this is the, like I said, the A3, the A2 model. And um, there is a different engine deck that appears on the back of here for the standard M4, which is called the Sherman 1, as far as I know, in British service. Um, please, if you ever find any issue with any of the historical details, correct me in the comments. Um, I don't actually know as much about this stuff as I'd like to, but I'm trying to educate myself as I build these things. But the Sherman 1, or the standard M4, was um, an M4 Sherman that had what I believe was an aircraft engine in it. So it had a different engine decking that didn't have these grates on the top of it. Um, this is said, uh, like I said, is the standard model, but I have built a, designed an engine deck for the um, standard N4, the M4 tank. And I would like to get a chance to show people today how to build that and hopefully do more of a series showing off the different changes and modifications you can do to make all different kinds of different Sherman variants. So for convenience here, I have now removed the um, engine decking from the back of the Sherman. It connects, obviously, as you can tell in those little clips um, on the inside there to get that nice uh, slope detail. This is the old engine deck. It's got um, some bits here that were a little bit flimsy when it came together, um, and I could have made it more robust, but I liked this build as it was. But feel free to make it stronger if you're interested in making it more robust. But this is the A2 slash A3 engine decking. You could probably use it on an A4, technically speaking, as well but this is just the one that I happen to make for the base model. The one that I'm gonna show you guys to make here is the M4 decking, which is very, very similar, as you can see. And I'm gonna get a quick run through. Whoops. I'll get a quick uh, run through as far as what that actually looks like and um, how to actually be able to build it. But um, yeah, so that's it. So that'll be the only change for this model to change it from an A3, A2, technically speaking, to the standard M4. But uh, this different decking has a different uh, sort of arched curve at the bottom, which I tried to recreate with these pieces that were a little bit flimsy. And then it does have a little bump back here along with the um, the absence of the, um, I believe they were uh, engine uh, intake air or ventilation on the back of here. So I'm going to pull this apart and we'll get a chance to build this new decking so that you can upgrade it from a standard A3 slash A2, like I said, to the M4 model if that's a preferred version of the Sherman tank that you like. So these are the parts that are required. Um, as I'm doing it kind of before, it's kind of that, that half chunk built method as my other uh, tutorials to kind of show um, how these are designed um, for convenience of building and all that stuff too. So obviously it's very similar to the other one and has very similar um, connection points as far as the spacing that it takes up. This one's a little bit more robust. So those guys go on right there. Um, and it's, but it, for the most part, it's pretty straightforward as far as the decking goes. If anything, I think it's probably simpler, whoops, I'll grab this guy, than the other one. Um, apologies that the Legos are a little bit dirty. Sometimes they're hard to keep clean. This guy, that's that little bump up on the, um, I don't actually know what that bump was on the back of that thing, but that guy will go on front of those guys. Another one of these one by four panels. And then in between these guys on the back, we got two of these one by twos in white. I do all my extra accents in white just for convenience. We got two of those in there. That'll look like that. And then on this back piece, as you can see, it's just the two by four plate with this three and then a jumper plate. And you're gonna replicate the same thing on that side. It's gonna give kind of that slope, that little 
if you see the the in M4, it's got a little cutout on the bottom of it that you'll recognize that tank model as. So there's that guy. And then we'll just pop that guy right on there. And there you go. That's the M4 engine deck. So I'm going to throw that guy in the tank real quick. It's a little bit awkward getting it into those clips, but I'll put it on there and show you what the full model looks like for the standard M4. And there you have it. There's an M4 Sherman. That's the standard make. Obviously, it's not too much different. The variations between the M4 Sherman tank are actually very hard to find, even on the real models, I think, personally. Um, so if, I, if for any reason I get these wrong, like I said, please correct me in the comments. I'm still learning about the Sherman variants as it is. Um, this is the M4 um, engine deck that I designed for my new uh, Firefly build um, because that was built. The M4 was one of the models they used the Firefly for, as far as I could tell. So that's kind of why I built it, but you can also use it as a standard M4. Like I said, obviously it doesn't look too different, but it's a nice little change to uh, be able to make this from a different model if you're really finicky about the different um, details or the different models that you actually like to build. Uh, you can build both now an A2, an A3, and an M4. So. That's it. That's the whole thing for um, this video. Just a little variation there now that I've done this because the Sherman has so many micro variations that I'm sure people um, would be able to figure out themselves. But I want, again, like I said, I'd like to categorize this for myself and the different variants that I made. So this is the standard M4 model. And uh, I'd, if people like these, I'd like to do more of these little variation videos that uh, will give people an idea of how to modify their Sherman and how to make it better uh, to complement that um, original tutorial. So. Thank you everybody for watching if you bothered to tag along and hopefully more of these coming soon. So have a great rest of your day and I'm out of here. Peace.